Welcome back to another video, another match reaction on a triple upload day. I am Mike Simon, my West Ham fans, but I do videos and match reactions on the big games as well. I have just watched uh, a bit of the, well, most of the game of the day, as I'm, it's still going on right now, but I've just watched a lot of the game of the day of Newcastle versus Chelsea. Obviously, Newcastle won 4 1. And uh, yeah, let's discuss. Uh, but before we discuss, Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, thank you for 200 subscribers. But yeah, Chelsea up and down, aren't they? Uh, it's good to see that Chelsea are still below us. Um, I'm a West Ham fan. Uh, love to see Chelsea below us. But four points clear of being someone in, in one position is interesting. Um, obviously, Chelsea got their three-point draw against Manchester City. Their three-point draw against uh, Arsenal. Their three-point draw against Liverpool. Um, a lot of players, I'll say a lot, I'll say pretty much all of the players that started for them didn't really do anything. Uh, I don't know what Brozier was meant to do, Cole Will, um, uh, yeah, it, it's a bit of a sticky situation that he's not really a, a left back, but I'm, we're not going to focus on him, he didn't start. Uh, obviously Caicedo, a difficult situation for Chelsea in this one, because when we all play, when we all have, uh, it, Players that go to international break, traveling around the world, Africa and South America, Asia, etc. We all have South Americans that go out, or we all have players from that region go out, and it's hard for them to come back with uh, without jet lag and be fully fit. So he couldn't start the game. But where was Enzo Fernandez today? Because I think Enzo Fernandez is a good player. I think he's like. Uh, I think the price tag's going to always be on his shoulders. Um, but he's had his see, kind of half season to settle in a bit. He's nearly been here a year now. Um, I'm, I'm going to probably be a bit more harsh on him by the second half of the season. But we need to see more, not just from a 100 million man, but from a World Cup winner. You know what I mean? Like, I know international football is a bit down the drain nowadays, but we need to see more... From just a midfielder that plays for Chelsea. Forget World Cup winner, forget 100 million. We need to see more from a midfielder that plays for Chelsea. Chelsea have had a lot of great midfielders over the years. And this guy was... I mean, Chelsea hassled and hustled to get this guy. I think it was on transfer deadline day that he arrived. Or that he got signed. Um, but uh, with the balance of Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez, we should be seeing a more complete midfield this season. Now, there's not gonna, ever going to happen straight away. A lot of new players have come in. A lot of new players have come out. A lot of new players have have just been here a year and have witnessed two or three managers already. Uh, they have a lot of players. A lot of players going out. A lot of players coming in. Um, so, I, I think that's why Chelsea are where they are. It's because they're so in and out with players coming in, players coming out. Managers, tactics, formations... And even starting 11s, no one's chilling right now. Like, I think Cole Palmer's been a revelation. Unfortunately, Chuck Omiko got injured and Nkunku got injured. So they needed a creative player. Now, the problem I have with, is despite Gallagher's form, Gallagher's played in the 10. So they're very reliant on their creativity coming solely from Cole Palmer coming off the right. I do think that kind of hinders it a bit. I think Gallagher's a good player. Don't think he should be starting week in, week out for Chelsea. Reese James, bit of a needless two yellows to get. One for kicking the ball away. You know what the refs are like now. You can't talk to the ref. You can't kick the ball away. Um, so try not to get a yellow card from that. And he got a yellow card. He then does some weird flick, stupid stuff. And then fouls Gordon. And he gets a second yellow. So he's out for the Brighton game. I think Chelsea will beat Brighton. Brighton have got Europe and they tend to rotate their team completely. So they'll be fine. They'll be fine against Brighton at home. They'll finally win a home game for a long time. I can't remember the last time they won a home game. I think it was Luton, actually. But speaking of Luton, I remember when they beat Luton and there was a lot of hype about Chelsea. Like, every time Chelsea get a good result, there's a lot of hype about what they're going to do this season. I told you about Chelsea. I told you about Pochettino. Uh, they're going to kick on. And they, they should kick on. But I didn't expect them to win this game. Should they be winning this game? Yes. Because... If you look at, on paper, these two squads are, like, Chelsea squad should be winning. 
But Newcastle have had way better coaching. They've been way more settled in. And it, and it hasn't been a circus, despite the Tonali stuff. It hasn't been a circus um, uh, at their club, really. It hasn't, like, I know there's always controversy because of their owners and stuff, but there's, there's not really... There's not really much headlines going on around Newcastle compared to Chelsea all the time. Like, and there's reports coming out that Chelsea want like Todd Bowley didn't even know that you could qualify for Champions League football, and so they want Champions League football despite this being a project. Um, they should be qualifying for Champions League football as they are Chelsea that are playing one game a week. Um, so that should be the minimum, shouldn't it? But I don't think that's going to happen. I think. Hear me out. I think they'd be lucky to get Europe this season. Like, look at where they are. Like, there's a lot of... Like, forget my team. but My team ain't doing anything. West Ham are not doing anything this season. But think about... Uh, Man City, Arsenal, Liverpool are probably going to be the top three. Um, and then after that, you've got Newcastle, Tottenham, Villa. And then Man United. And then who? Then like maybe the Brightons, did I say Villa? And like maybe West Ham, doubt it, but maybe us. Um, all all compete for European places. I don't think Brighton will get Europe again, but maybe Conference League. Like and Chelsea fans will be disgusted at the fact that they've got Conference League. But look at where you are. I think you should be finishing higher. I think you should be finishing in the Champions League. But what what we're not seeing a gelled squad. No, I don't think the left backs at Chelsea are good enough. I don't think Kukurea and Chilwell are good enough in general. Uh, I think Chilwell kind of cemented himself as a wing back under Tuchel and can't really play on a four. I mean, he's not a winger either. I think Pochettino kind of fucked up at the start of the season because of that. I don't think Cole can play there. Genuinely awful at left back. He's a centre back. That's it. Um, and Kukurea, you never know. Probably a bit too inconsistent, in my opinion. But, like, Thiago Silva completely fucks up with that mistake. Just goes a bit brain dead, giving the ball away, etc. Badi Ashile, I don't... I want to know... If, I want to know this. Has, has he been given under 21 minutes before coming back from injury? Because he didn't play like he's... He's played like he's just come back from injury. Like, seriously, he's played like he's... Like he's never like he hasn't played football in years, and he's a very good player. So you can tell that he's not up to speed, because uh, he was very good when he first came into the league, and he should be still given a chance. Because I reckon he could be a bit of a revelation for Chelsea when they're once they're settled. But right now he's not doing the business. Uh, Thiago Silva, uh, he's getting on a bit. I think that's and I think that's allowed to be said. He is getting on a bit. Um. Thiago Silva has been a world class centre back over the past few years. Like, well, past few years. He's been a world class centre back for a while, hasn't he? Uh, known for being at AC Milan and PSG. Also, did win the Champions League at Chelsea. But now what? Newcastle did well. Joel Linton penetrated well. Alberon. Uh, coming back, Isak giving him a focal point up front. Big shout out to Lewis Miley. Looks like a child, but 17 year old, very composed. And yeah, credit to Newcastle. But that will be it for the video. Newcastle did very well with their many, many injuries. But make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new. My social media is on GVO Mics on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.